controller. All right. <coughs> whoa, 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 I'm sorry. I just pulled my chair and I went on the cat's tail. Oh, I'm sorry. I know, it's okay. She's a little monster though. She snorts all the time. She's a really angry all the time. She snorts like a pig. I call her pig cat. What am I doing here? All right, here we go. Fine, you can just, she comes into my room and she lies down right below my desk. So I put my feet on her and then she, she wants me to pet her and then she freaks out. I'm not even touching her. She's just rolling next to my garbage now. She wants me to pet her, but then she freaks out whenever I touch her and bites me. Because uh, she was abused as a cat, a kitten. So, she responds awkwardly. She responds not normally to the human touch or anything. She has this little, like, shock of anxiety. So you gotta be careful with her. Pet her only in certain areas and be careful. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, there she goes. I'm not even, like, moving. She's just rolling around on the floor, petting herself. And getting angry at my foot for existing. Is that Miss Kelsey? Oh wow, I haven't seen her since graduation. She was always kind of badass. School district did not fund that art program at all. Ow, oh, don't cut my foot. Am I bleeding? I'm probably bleeding from that. It's okay, add that to my other scars from this monstrosity of a cat. Alright. Yeah, that's fine. Just lie there. But she made it work. We got my two favorite characters, B and Selmer's Poet. I d yeah, that's what I call her, Selmer's Poet. She was some sort of, like, um, our teacher survivalist. Wow, I never realized. I think they just pay her in bits of string and empty soda cans. Thank you all for coming to this second meeting of the Bossops Brings Poetry Society. Do you want to stick around for this? Oh my god, yes. For it, yes. Tonight we have new poems for myself. <laughs> yes. Come on. I'm so excited. And Fisherman Jones. And Selma and Forrester. I will start us off with one of my own. She's from some big city, right? They don't actually pay her in string, right? She's from some big city, right? Yeah. How'd she end up here? Who knows? Uh, probably rent. Ahem. And, and nowadays with the internet, you can be honest anywhere. Letter to my worst student. To my worst student. The subject of my stories. I tell friends back home when they ask about life. Out here in the sticks, it's you. I worry. At the end of my life, you will be the only one I remember. Why did you key my car? I know it was you, Brian. Thanks, everyone. Is that legal? So that was Mrs. Kelsey? Or Miss Kelsey? What? Talking about details of what students like that. She didn't name names. Yeah, she did. Oh, no, full names. Uh -huh. Next up, Fisherman Jones. Fisherman Jones has a poem for us. Two, two poems. They're short, though. Two poems! And take it away. Uh, hi, folks. Glad to be here. Thanks. This is called Tunnel Eels. Tunnel Eels, Tunnel Eels. I do not know how it feels to be in darkness all the time. Born in muck and reefs and slime. But neither do you know the paths I have judged, so it is hardly your place to judge. Okay, that's one poem. Next one's shorter. Wow. This one is called Tunnel Frogs. Hmm, I'm, 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 I'm sensing the theme of the collection here. Tunnel Frog swims in the dark. Must think it would be a lark to be a fisherman like me. But what do you know, Amphibie? I don't know if you could hear the... My eyes, my brow going right into my palm. But that's what just happened. That's it. That's great. Thank you, Fisherman Jones. 
This dude is really worried about what fish think. Yeah, when he talks to the actual fish. That sounds good. That tunnel always spooks me. I didn't even know it existed. I thought it was teleportation for the first couple of days I was back. Finally, a poem by Selma Ann Forrester. Yes. Yeah, Selmers. Thanks, May. You know her? Dude, she's like your neighbor. Oh. She writes these really funny, dorky short poems. I'm looking for something short and funny. This is called There's No Reception in Boston Springs. <laughs> She's not wrong. <laughs> <coughs> no reception here. I wave my black phone in the air like a flare, like a prayer, but no reception. I read on the internet, baby face boy, billionaire. Phone app sold more, made more money in one day than my family over a hundred generations. More than my whole world ever has. World where house buying jobs became rent paying jobs, became living with family jobs. Boy billionaires. Money is access, access to politicians waiting for us to die. Lead in our water, alcohol, and painkillers. Replace my job with a nap. Replace my dreams of a house and a yard. With a couch in the basement. The future is yours. Force 24 7 entrepreneurs. I just want a paycheck on my and my own life. I'm on the couch in the basement. They're in the house and the yard. Some night I will catch a bus out to, west, to the west coast and burn their Silicon City to the ground. Holy shit. Wow, damn. She rhymed entrepreneur. I don't even know what that word means. Thanks, everyone. Is she always like this? No. Wow. Huh. Thanks, everyone. She was saving her good material. She was just, she just had her funny material for me. Selma's poet. You are my favorite character. Over B now. Thanks, everyone. See you in two weeks. Hey, Summers. What? I liked your weird poem. Thanks. I wrote it myself. Wait, was that? Was the assumption that she didn't write it hers? Nice work, Sal. Smilmer. I don't like that nickname. What are you two? Sorry. It's cool. Can we go now? Poets of Possible Springs. It's my achievement. Okay. Everybody, thanks for coming. We live here. Right, okay. So, find anything about your ghost? Yeah. Tell him, baby. There were some newspaper clippings that talked about a ghost. Not just any ghost. Little Joe. I wanted her to do the head pops more. I don't really remember Little Joe. He's a ghost miner. He died in mysterious circumstances. Wow. I know, right? Mysterious. I thought you were, like, afraid of this ghost. Like, Phil with like dread and shit I'm terrified oh I, I, I skipped it okay I want the head bob back so I mentioned it three different places we can all check out that's convenient for narrative I have work and stuff you know Greg and I also have work you guys skip out of work all the time maybe we can like split this up share custody of you and your ghost <laughs> I have to be daddies Mm. Uh, what places were you thinking about? Uh, the graveyard. I call that one. It's close and not illegal. Is there an illegal one? Sure is. The historical society. You know, you don't have to, like, break in. The people there get paid to show it to you. Anyway. I'm in for the historical society. Awesome. So what did I get stuck with? Awesome job. <laughs> That smile face. I know Possum Jump. We used to go there in Scouts. Perfect it. Okay, I actually need to like get home and do work. <laughs> this is gonna be awesome. And also I'm scared to death. <laughs> Alright, time for some more Garbo Malloy. Thought if I die someone should write a poem for it. Oh hang on. Nope. Keep your yeah, that's the 
resolution I have my OBS set to too. Uh, thought never if I die. So it's a Selmers. It's uh, ta-da! It's Selmers, a good poet. Yeah, that was great. Good one. I mean, I'm not one for that sort of modern poetry. But erg. Yeah, seems like that's going around. The erg. Yippers. So uh, you and Mom had a bit of a fight yesterday, huh? Uh huh. I thought you two were getting along. We are. Just a bump. You two. Always two alike, I guess. I got your chill and her smart ass. Yes. I just hate to see you two out on the outs again. That'll be fine. We're cool. So we're having money problems? What? No, we're fine. Dad. May, it's fine. It's okay. I'm 20. I can handle it. Nothing to handle. Alright. Might just head up to bed tonight. Sounds good, kid. Been a long couple of days. Alright, I'm gonna give him his weird voice. Does mother work night? Well, that doesn't make sense. She doesn't work nights at the church. She doesn't work nights at the church. She not doesn't work at the Church of Satan. Oh, that's right. With birds, you put the uh, thing over them at night, and then they get they think it's night, and they shut shut the heck up. So now we know that there's that tooth, but I already checked over here and there's nothing besides that tooth, right? Bothered him a bunch. And now there's, we got the tooth. Our uh, ancestors were labor agitators in the late uh, 1800s. And uh, beat up a guy and uh, took his, took his, took out his, took out his teeth. And now we got his teeth. Alright. Alright, we got a message from everybody. We're friends. Hey, let me know when you want to hit the cemetery. I should be around most nights this week. Uh, I don't know. Bye, thanks. Bye. Beat. Don't think me too hard. I'm going there anyway, and it's like right down the road. You're ruining this. I take back my thank yous. Oh, in that case, you are so incredibly welcome, and also you better not forget this big favor. That's what I get. I'm falling asleep. Had fun tonight. Sorry if I was grouchy. It's just... Your crocodile's coming out. It's fine. What? Did you fall asleep? Oh. Yo, I looked up the historical society on the internet. And it's real old, but uh, they did these big renovations. Oh, really? I mean, listen, I'm not saying there's a ghost, but old stuff that gets just got torn up seems like ghost central. How so? Speak. Speak, man. Speak your truth. You're a ghost hanging out in an old house, and then someone puts in a pool where you died or something? Uh, the pools would be actually pee scary. I'm spooked. I'm going to bed. Oh, no, no. I meant to click X, not Y. Give me that back. Back to the laptop. Pizza. Cursor. Hey, May. Let me know when you want to go to the park. I looked up a map and it's a pretty straight shot up to Possum Jump. Okay, great. We never really get a chance to hang out. It'll be fun, I think. Okay, I'm going to sleep. Night, sir. Tips hat. Good night, Mr. Sharkle. <laughs> My nightmare. Is Autumn secretly killing you? I mean, probably. Who knows? Hmm. I want to play Pumpkinhead. Could play some bass, but which song? Pumpkinhead guy and go get Dead Angel Face, which was the one that she wrote for her. Um, uh, nope. I didn't mean to click that. Is there a way to click out of this? Yeah. Alright. Bedtime? Uh, yeah, we did everything. Let's head to bed. We have 15 minutes in this episode, so... I think this is going to be a short episode. Um, I think I'll do the dream sequence if we have a dream. We have a dream? I don't think so. Do we have a dream? Dream? Alright, we'll do the dream, and then we'll be out of here. Unless the dream takes forever. Which it actually might. But you know what? Let's go ahead and just have the dream at the end of the episode. 
Hey fish. What's up? Ah, you're down. Alright, well, if I hop down here. Put this light on. Light up. Oh, a pyramid. Alright, here's one. I believe it's easier than the other one. Oh, I got kind of st See, uh, I didn't get stuck. I was trying to do something, testing. Couldn't tell, so I'm just gonna walk. Walk around here. Probably one over here somewhere. Seems like there should be one over here. No? I kind of like transparent, I like that a lot. Oh yeah, um, uh, I was going back through the footage of the old, I noticed a lot more things like in, in post when I'm checking the videos. Whoa, floaty thing. Was that Greg floating? I'm oh, a fox. I noticed a lot more in post. It's a lot harder uh, to talk and think of things to say and like have those things go and, and do all that and notice every single tiny little detail. Hey, yeah. Pipe smoking guy. Weird. Crocodile. Huh. It's world. I like the inception thing giving in on itself. City. City tidal waving in on itself or whatever. Top up. Gotta get up. Everybody knows you gotta get up to get down. That's just the way it goes. I think uh, Jesus said that. Confucius. I mean, it's wisdom. Somebody said it. Wisdom doesn't just create itself. Whoa. Last one should be over here, then, right? Wait. I don't want to fall all the way back down. All right, I got three. Just the beginning. Where have I not? Been? This is where I went up, right? I feel like there would be more up here. I thought there would be two up here. So I got two at the bottom. There might be one at the middle. It's pretty dark. Can't make it all out. I need to do the triple hand point. There we go. Okay, I don't see anything there. That's just background over there. This is just the telephone pole down there. Okay. This just brings me down. Okay, this just brings me straight down to where I was. So if I had to guess, I would say in the middle somewhere here. But I wasn't just down here. Okay, no, I didn't hit that. Okay, here we go. There it is. Do do do. Alright. Um, what were they saying? Oh yeah, I noticed that there were four. Th I'll show you in the building when we get to the city. I noticed that there were four. Um, sorts of statues and I was like a bird and all that we got four of these musicians and there were four statues around the apple bum guy in the apartment where B lives where like he stalks her from inside the window and so now I gotta climb back up and get to the thingies and then there's gonna be some animal I also have to steal a pretzel which I'm not totally happy about I don't think we gotta steal a hat. We all gotta steal a person, I think. I gotta feed my rat babies. And I mean, like, if you gotta steal, feed your family, sure, whatever. That's a higher morality. But you don't gotta steal to feed your rat babies. You know? Me? Oh. Being attacked by a swamp or a goose. Uh, and it's eating a fish, a pelican? That's not a pelican. Okay. 
get an unfiltered view into the way my mind works. What are we doing in our dreams? What are we creating? Hello? Am I dead? Okay. No, it's another day and another chance to... Another chance to fail. Um, I'll, s I'll see you in the next episode of Night in the Woods. I'm Dexter. Thanks for watching. Bye.